Hi, I'm Dr. Ortiz, and we've received some requests about how to administer the Ortiz PVAT. So today I'm going to give you a brief demonstration on how it actually works. We're going to focus primarily on the practice items because once you begin the administration, it's really very much the same. And the point of the, the practice is to help the child understand what to do. Once they understand what to do, there's really no reason you have to do or worry about anything else as far as administration goes. So what you see essentially when you set up the test, you begin the app and you've answered the necessary questions, is the first practice page that looks like this. I'm going to switch over momentarily to the video, which will demonstrate how all this works. But basically at this point, you would be saying to the child that here are four pictures and they would have heard a word. In fact, what you would do as examiners click on the speaker button at the bottom center there they would hear the stimulus word which in this case would be apple and then they would be asked to pick the picture that best describes the word they just heard and then if the child gets it correct then you move forward if they get it wrong you repeat the process until you know that they're understanding what needs to happen so let me show you how that works and we'll run a little video here that will give you an idea of how this would occur apple so there you saw the click on Apple. The examiner told the, the child to pick the best picture. They picked the word Apple. Tree. And now after they click next, they heard the word tree. They click on that and then... Play. The stimulus word was play there, as you just heard. And so they select the correct one and they move to the next one as well. Hot. They heard the stimulus word, which is hot in this case, and they click on that and moved again the next one. This ends the practice round here, but if you need more, ball. You come back. And so they heard the word ball, and each time shoes next is clicked, they hear the stimulus word. It doesn't advance, and the next word isn't presented until they click the next button. Hand. Like there. So now they heard the word hand, and they click on hand, and they move again. Jumping. Here, they just heard the word jump. and they move forward. And now they've basically completed the practice rounds. If the child had any difficulty with any of them, you would stop them and say, no, this is whatever the target word was, and then put them back to trying it again a second time. What you're trying to do basically here is simply ensure that the child understands that they're going to hear a word, they hear the next word every time they click on the next button, and that the prompt is for them to pick the picture that indicates the word that they just heard. And that's essentially how the test itself is administered. It just goes right through that, starting with the screener, all the way until the child's ceilings on the test, and then it just ends when it's all completed. And that's the basic gist of how the test is actually administered. You can see it's fairly quick and fairly efficient. It doesn't require much in terms of the way of instruction. There are instructions, however, for individuals who may be so limited English that they can't understand the instructions in English. We've translated them into five different languages, the five most popular ones in the US, including Spanish, Vietnamese, Chinese, Arabic, um, and Russian. And by having those, if the child is so limited, you can give the instructions in English. Although, of course, once they hear the words, they're going to hear them in English. But the instructions to understand what to do can be given in the native language with those instructions that we've already provided in the technical manual. And that's it.